Ooh, la, 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 la. Hey guys, it's Derek here. Today we're gonna be opening up another awesome resin statue today because I heard some of you wanted some more resin on the channel. So let's get right into it. This big guy over here is a Jimmy Palace statue. So let me just get up and do this. This is an officially licensed resin statue. And if you can guess by the laugh that I did earlier, it's of one of the awesome Yonko. White beard, in fact. Just cut this open real quick. I wanted to show you the brown box as well, just so you guys all know what you're getting into. If you're planning to spend like $1,350 US. How am I gonna do this? Okay, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have put it in the brown box. Just for a bit of context, I'm not weak. It's just that each one of these boxes weighs at least 50 pounds. I think the total weight of him combined is 101 pounds and a little bit. Yeah, they weighed a lot. And handling one of these by yourself is kind of a death sentence, but I managed. So let's get this open. They don't call him the strongest man in the world for no reason. But this is number three, what is it? 354 out of 400 meant for international. Meaning there's a whole bunch more out there for different regions. Ooh. Damn. Since they're labeled box A and box B, it makes sense that box A has the entire base. We got a Edward Newgate little box thing here. Ooh, nice quality box. Also have a laminated seal of authenticity. Shows your like addition number. Thanks, I guess. And below, you have a white beard with a picture frame. Now, this one here doesn't match any of the other ones, but it does say the addition size again, in case you want to display it. Feels like it's a bit of wood. It's in black. And there's a little cut on the back, which should fit into place. Very nice. I'm gonna put this in the back in case I just, or we'll just put it here for now. There we go, we got a USB. Can I give me gloves? How am I supposed to do this without gloves? This is sacrilegious. Where do I start? Also, seriously, where the heck's the manual? Am I supposed to wing this? No. No, you didn't go backwards. I was just joking about the manual comment. There's a bit of broken foam on the inside, but I hope nothing is broken or damaged here because that would suck. Next chunk here is the Moby Dick, the ship that he rides on, or he rode into battle at, at least this time. Looking really good. Obviously not to scale, otherwise it'd be too big, but, or too small. All that struggling and that was, that was, that was box A. Okay. Um, I'm for the second box. I found the instruction manual. <laughs> very, very much needed, I think. They put it in box B for some reason, so that kind of scared me, but it exists. We'll need that for later. Right, how am I gonna do this? Turn it to its side, lift it up, uh, put it down, move it back. For sure none of you guys can see anything, but hey, just know that I'm struggling, like a lot. I'm starting to get why all those Chinese TikTok guys have the box already kind of done up and out of the way. I guess this is the certificate of authenticity over here. The one that we've seen before in black and gold. Oh, and it does come with gloves. These gloves look identical to the other ones I've seen before or shown before. But hey, glad they gave everything that I thought they would. Why 
why is this so heavy? There's another layer up top here. <laughs> I was wondering why it was so heavy for just foam. Okay, never mind, never mind. There's two layers for box B. So let's just get the instruction manual. Nice and laminated, nice cardstock. Oh, they might actually watch these videos because the inside looks a lot better. <laughs> just at a glance, it looks pretty nice. They're doing good, they're doing good. This is a huge step up in improvement from the other two. Like they're actually giving proper instructions. This is crazy. Everything's nicely labeled and everything too. I guess, I guess so. Yeah, 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 yeah. So first piece, Moby Dick goes into the front. We'll just plop it in here. Big piece on the front goes in here. Just gotta... We are also running out of room on the desk. So when he's built, he's gonna be like up to here. I might need to do something drastic. You know what, let's, let's do that now. When I still can. Man, he looks like he has some tetanus or something on his legs. These look disgusting, but like in the best way possible. It's very piratey. <laughs> looks like his legs have scurvy. I mean, um, it's kind of cool. I don't know. All right, got the angle. There we go. He's even bigger than I first anticipated. He's still gonna be bigger th than this right here. The entire upper body with his uh, cloak or mantle or whatever you wanna call it is all one giant piece. Focus up right now, I don't wanna break this. It'd be, oh. Yep, he's out of frame. How is he still out of frame? <sighs> okay, now he's punching the mic. If this isn't a sign to get a bigger room, I don't know what is. Slide him up in there. That does not feel secure at all. This video is scuffed, I know. Don't need to tell me. It's done. Yeah. I moved him to the back because it was way too big to put up front and still have a decent conversation with you here. But I did it. I somehow moved all of it 100 pounds with all my my strength. Now I will say it took me a little over an hour to get him completely assembled and all figured out, but that's also because I was trying to film it and also not destroy the room and knock everything over. So if you aren't filming it and you have a very large space, I think you can get it all put together, unboxed and built in maybe half an hour. In terms of his design and pose, I think they absolutely nailed it. It really looks like he came straight from a manga panel or the anime and he's about to launch a massive attack with his bicento. They added lovely effects all through throughout. You can see it at the tip of the blade and also where the waves are, which look very, very good. It does give you that sense that it is water, which is bad for Delver users, but they nailed it. The little bit of white that they added on here looks absolutely stunning and beautiful. They've also added a bit of green at the very bottom to kind of mix it up a little bit, and I really like how that turned out. For anyone who's worried about the Bicento he has, it doesn't feel like it's going to move at all just because of how it's designed. It has a slight curve and just feels really sturdy in hand. Even with the giant weighted effect piece at the very end where the blade is, it, it just feels good. The LED on him actually looks really, really good. It's actually quite bright as well. And there's a very satisfying click for the button in the back. It's nice and metallic and shiny and metal as well. So if you're kind of fidgety, you, you might enjoy that too. Pretty sure the devil's in the details because there are so many little things they did with this. You get a marine ship in the front and kind of being messed up, the Moby Dick just shooting out and all the little explosions and parts of buildings being messed up. There's just a lot more detail that's been thrown in with the sculpt and especially the paint on here too. Looks like they went to town with the weathering washes and they also did a ton of airbrush work which looks just absolutely stunning. You can see it a lot with all of his muscles. They're nice and defined, nice and colored, and he's man's pretty built. <laughs> he's been hitting the gym despite his old age apparently, and it just looks really good. Even his veins are kind of colored in, which is a very nice touch and detail. I guess for the price you're paying, you should expect that as well. Overall, I'm really happy with how he turned out. He looks really, really good, and I think he's worth the giant price tag. You get a lot of different details, small parts, and everything just works really, really well with this white beard statue. Definitely not the only one out on the market, but if you can get your hands on one of the very select few, I would definitely recommend it. Just maybe don't pay too much over retail. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving this a big old like because this was quite difficult to do. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I personally may just go back to the older style of how I did the resin videos because 
this was a little hard, but hey, let, let me know what you guys think. I'll also leave another video over there that you guys can go check out. So yeah, go, go take a look at that. My name is Derek and I will see you next time. Bye guys.